Hi there, Perfected Decaster here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'd like to address a question that I get asked a lot. Should guitar beginners start with an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar? I will discuss the differences between both types of guitars as well as their common attributes. And along the way, I will share my insights based on my own personal journey as a guitar player and as a guitar teacher. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. I regularly upload content centered on the guitar and music, from lessons to gear demos to tour vlogs and all sorts of other fun stuff. Okay, to begin, let's talk about the parts of the guitar. So this part right here is called the head or the headstock. These are your tuning keys, or sometimes they're called tuning pegs. And this long part right here, this is called the guitar neck or the neck. Okay. At the headstock part of the neck, the strings are guided through the nut, this piece of bone right here. And on the face of the neck, you have your guitar fretboard. Each space, is called a fret, and these are separated by fret wires. From the head and the neck, we now get to the guitar body, where we find the other end of the strings attached to this thing right here. This is called the bridge. An acoustic guitar body is basically a box where the strings are tied to. So this is hollow, and these are designated by the top, the sides, and the back of the instrument. When you play a string, you cause it to vibrate. And this vibration is transferred to the entire guitar top because the guitar bridge is attached to the guitar top. Okay. And then the resulting sound is further developed and amplified within the box or the guitar body. guitar shares a lot of common parts with its acoustic brother. It has a headstock, it has the tuning keys, it has the nut, it has the neck, the fretboard, the frets, the fret wire, and a bridge. Now the main difference is that the body of an electric guitar is a solid piece of wood. Okay, it's not a box. And the way an electric guitar produces a sound is through these things called pickups. Now the simplest and most basic explanation that I can give for a pickup is that you can think of it as a microphone for the strings. When you play an electric guitar string, the pickup picks up the string vibration and converts it into electrical energy, which is then funneled through the output jack and into your guitar cable and the signal is then sent to your guitar amp where that electric energy is converted into sound. Now, despite the difference in construction, these instruments are still both guitars. So they share the same notes, the same chords, the same techniques, one hand, presses down on the strings on the fretboard to play the notes and the other hand activates the string by either strumming it or picking with the fingers. Now there are techniques that are specific to a particular guitar type. However, that shouldn't stop you from let's say finger picking an electric guitar. Or shredding lead lines with a pick on an acoustic guitar. Now back when I was starting out, cost was a big factor in deciding which type of guitar to start with because it was generally thought that acoustic guitars 
were less expensive than electric guitars. However, nowadays, the cost gap between the two types of guitars is virtually non-existent because you can now get a good electric guitar starter pack for the price of a decent acoustic guitar. Please check out the description box below this video for my list of recommendations for both acoustic and electric guitars, as well as all the accessories that a guitar beginner will need. Now these are affiliate links from amazon.com and sweetwater.com. The price does not change when you buy from these links. However, I get a small commission that will help me keep making this content for all of you guys to enjoy. Now next, I'm gonna talk about the positives and negatives of each guitar type. Now topping the list of positives for the acoustic guitar is that it does not need any other accessories or equipment to make a sound. It is pretty much pick up and start playing. Now another positive for the acoustic guitar is that it is an intimate sounding instrument. So if you're in a living situation where you can't disturb either your housemates or your neighbors with loud guitar playing, then the quiet and laid back nature of an acoustic guitar is perfect. Now let's move on to the negatives. Compared to an electric guitar, an acoustic guitar may be a little more difficult to play because of the thicker strings and generally a higher string height. Now these two things can be addressed with a proper setup. However, acoustic guitars strung with lead gauge strings and set up with low action generally don't sound good. And this leads me to next on the negatives list. Acoustic guitars have limited adjustability. So if you want to adjust something on your acoustic guitar, you have to take it to somebody who is qualified to do repairs or adjustments or setups, usually a good guitar tech. And a lot of these adjustments are not reversible. So for example, if you want to lower the action of your acoustic guitar, then the tech will most likely take the saddle at the bridge and sand it down or file it down so that you can get a more comfortable string height. If you do not know what you're doing and you sanded it too much and the strings end up really low and unplayable, you will have to buy a new saddle to replace it. And as far as sound goes, there really isn't anything else beyond changing your string brand or string gauge that you can do to improve the sound of your acoustic guitar. Now, a lot of beginners also find it difficult to sit and play with an acoustic guitar, especially if they manage to get a big bodied acoustic guitar like this Dreadnought. However, acoustic guitars now come in all shapes and sizes, so it shouldn't be too hard to find one that fits and is comfortable to hold. Now, generally acoustic guitars are more fragile than their electric counterparts because the guitar body, this guitar box, is made with thin sheets of wood that is prone to cracking or holes when neglected. Now, if the guitar beginner is a young person or just plain clumsy, I recommend a guitar that is built with laminated woods as opposed to one that is built with solid woods. Laminated wood guitars don't necessarily sound the best, but they are fairly robust and will withstand dinks and doinks and whatever that come from mishandling. <laughs> Now let's talk about the positives and negatives of an electric guitar. Topping the positives list is that an electric guitar is generally easier to play uh, than an acoustic guitar because of the lighter gauge strings and the lower string height or string action. There are also more sounds available on an electric guitar depending on how many pickups your guitar has. For this Chapman ML1 standard, I have three pickups and I can switch between five different sounds from round and warm, to nice and bright. Now, 
Now, aside from those available on the guitar itself, you can further tweak the sound using the controls on your amplifier. And if you want more sounds, you can start adding guitar pedals to your signal chain. Now, another plus for electric guitars is user adjustability. You don't need to be a certified technician to be able to tinker with your electric guitar. You have screws and posts that you can adjust to raise and lower the string action. If you want a hotter guitar signal or less hot guitar signal, you can raise or lower your pickups. And a lot of these adjustments are reversible. So if you find that you lower the string height too much, all you need to do is to back out the screw so that you raise the action to a more comfortable height. And as far as tinkering goes, pretty much every part of an electric guitar is modular and can be replaced with aftermarket options. So let's say you're no longer happy with the way your guitar sounds. You can order aftermarket pickups and replace the stock pickups and you'll have a totally different new sound. Now let's go through the list of negatives. Topping the list is that an electric guitar needs other equipment and accessories for it to be able to produce a sound. Now an electric guitar by itself produces a quiet and plinky sound. So to hear the true sound of your electric instrument, you're going to need an amplifier. Such as this. Now to connect your guitar to the amplifier, you are also going to need a guitar cable. Only after you get these three things, then you'll be able to rock. The need for accessories for your electric guitar can lead to the pitfall of never-ending expenses, or gear acquisition syndrome. Because after you get your guitar, your cable, and your amp, you'll start looking into getting pedals, after which you're going to need another cable, as well as a power supply. And then, of course, you can't just get by with one pedal, you'll eventually acquire more pedals, which leads to needing more patch cables, which leads to upgrading your power supply, which eventually leads to upgrading your amplifier, which leads to upgrading your guitar pickups and guitar hardware, or buying an entirely new guitar altogether. So try not to fall into that money trap early on and do your best to acquire gear as the need arises. Now last on the list of negatives depends on how big an amplifier you get because electric guitars tend to be loud. So if you live in an apartment with thin walls or if you have a neighbor that is sensitive to loud music, look into other alternatives. There's a lot of low volume options right now from tiny little amplifiers to little interfaces that you can plug your guitar into and listen with headphones. Now should a guitar beginner start on an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar? There really isn't a simple and direct answer because it largely depends on what style of music you want to play and what sound it is you're after and basically what your end goal is. Now when I started, I signed up for classical guitar lessons mainly because I didn't know any better and the classical guitar teacher had an opening. And then several months later, I switched to electric. And since then, I've been going back and forth. Classical, electric, classical, acoustic, electric, and so on and so forth. Now, I've had it said to me that the reason why I play the way I do is because I started out on classical guitar. And then there's also the general impression that if you start on an acoustic guitar, you build up your finger strength which makes it easier to handle electric guitar later on. However, based on my experience, I would beg to differ because I don't think playing classical guitar made playing electric guitar any easier for me. Uh, in the first place, a classical guitar has a wider neck. So when I switch from classical to electric guitar, there is an adjustment that I have to make to compensate for the difference in the string spacing. Now, what I think helped me is that Classical guitar already has an established method of teaching. So when I started playing electric, I already know where the notes are on the neck, I know my chords, I know my scales. And that helped me further along in my journey as a musician. So it's what I learned during my classical guitar lessons that helped me on electric, and not necessarily the physical 
aspect of playing the classical guitar. Now for parents of young people, it's probably a good idea to start them on an acoustic guitar and then later on switch to electric if they want to. That way you make the electric guitar an incentive for them to do good on their guitar lessons. And generally young beginners don't really have a preference as to the kind of music that they learn. So parents, make sure that the guitar teacher that you sign up with is able to give a solid musical foundation for your child so that later on if they switch to electric, the transition will be smooth. And because younger people have shorter attention spans, the quicker you put the instrument into their hands and the quicker they get to play and make sounds, the better. And that's where an acoustic guitar comes in. They pick it up, start playing right away and producing sound. As opposed to getting an electric, getting your amp, plugging the amp into your power, getting the cable, plugging the guitar cable, plugging into the amp, turning the amp on. It's just a lot of steps for them to get started. So the less steps that they need to take to get practicing, the better. Now on the other side of the coin, those who start on electric guitar already have a definite idea of the sound and music that they want to play. And generally that is true for our more mature beginners. And that's not really a problem because as I already mentioned, all the guitar basics are shared between both types of guitars. So if you learn a G chord, on an electric guitar, you can play the same G chord on an acoustic guitar. Now in closing, I will say with utmost certainty that if you stick to this guitar playing path, you will own an electric and you will own an acoustic. And I will even go as far as saying that you will own several variants of each guitar type because that's just the way we guitar players are wired. Now before you buy your guitar, click on the card above to go watch my guitar buying tips video for both acoustic and electric guitars. Well, there you have it. Those are my insights on whether you should start on an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar if you're a beginner. Regardless which guitar type you decide to go with, just remember to keep it fun and always keep it musical. Now if you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up like. Feel free to share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Now, if you have any other tips or advice that I may not have covered, I look forward to reading those as well. Well, that's it for now. I'll see you guys again soon. And always remember, practice makes perfecto. Cheers.